Hi, and welcome to the Website Builder. This video is designed to help you starting out building your website. Follow these steps, and you can have a fully functioning website up and running in minutes. Don't forget, you can always skip through chapters of this video using the panel on the side. So let's get started. This is the Site Builder. Along the top, you will find all the tools you need to edit your site. Use these toolbars to edit and add content, and use these tabs to switch between which section of the site you are editing. I'm on my home page in Site Builder, and I'm ready to start editing my site. To get started, add a content box. Content boxes are the foundation you use to build the page. They can hold anything from text to videos to images. Whenever you add to a page, use a content box. Add a title to your content box, and add your main content in the body below. In the Site Builder, you're given a host of powerful editing tools, and they're as easy to use as your word processor. When you have the right section selected, use the toolbar to customize it. You can change the font, size, make it bold, change the alignment, and more. You can also add a link simply by pressing the link button. To link to another website, just enter their web address. You can also switch through these tabs to link to a portion of this website. Once you finish, just press insert, and the link will be instantly added. There's also a variety of add-ons you can put in your content boxes, and you can explore these by pressing the add-ons button. From games and puzzles, to feeds for news, entertainment, and weather, there's a widget for just about everything, and you can add them with a single click. To make your site more interesting, add an image. You can do this by pressing Photo, uploading an image, and it will be added to the content box. You can scale it to the size you want, and use the Image Options menu to align it or add a frame. You can use the toolbar to adjust the text and image together. And when you're satisfied with the content box, hit the green tick. Add a new page by clicking the New Page button at the top of the screen. Select the page you want, give it a name, and press Create Page. The Photos page is an application. App pages are designed for a specific use, in this case, a photo gallery. Just upload the photos you want, and they will automatically be placed into albums. You can adjust the settings to your liking, such as the album cover. And when you're done, just save. Your photo gallery is now ready, and you can come back to edit or add photos at any time. For more app pages, visit the App Store. There's many more available, all just as easy to use. When you're editing a page, remember to explore the page options. You can rename the page, hide the page from the navbar if it's getting too crowded, add a background image or background music, password protect, or, if you change your mind completely, even delete the page. To add content here, you need to edit your sidebar. To do this, switch to the Sidebar tab. If your sidebars are not turned on, you will see this screen. All you need to do is press Enable Sidebars. Modules for your app pages will automatically be added. Add your own custom modules for anything you like, such as messages or announcements. Add a widget module. There's anything from searches to polls to live news and weather. Got a big event coming up? Add a countdown to get people excited. Customize it and instantly add it to your site. You can edit or delete your sidebar modules here. You can also edit what order they appear in and which pages they appear on. Remember to save your changes and press Done. 
and you'll see everything you added has been seamlessly integrated into your sidebar. Switch to the Template tab to customize the design of your site. Use these options along the top to switch between which section of the site you are editing. Here you can switch between which template you are using. Be sure to click More to see different colors of each template. Your content will be automatically adjusted to fit the style of the template. You can also change the background of the site. First, you may need to remove the image that is already there. Then, you are free to use your own image or choose a color from the scale. You can change the title and footer of the site, enter the name of your site, and customize the size and font. You can also adjust the position of the text. You can also do the same for a tagline. Next, you can upload and add a logo, and even change your header. And advanced users can use CSS to fully customize their site. Once you have finished with the design of your site, make sure you press Save Design. Once you are happy with your site, make sure you press Publish. Publish all pages to get your entire site online. Your site is now up and running. Be sure to spread the word to get people visiting. Now you're in the Site Manager. Here, you can add a new page, edit the ones you have, or add an application from the App Store to get some great features on your site. For help and advice, visit our Support Center. Here you can access our many support channels, such as the Knowledge Base, Video Tutorials, and the Support Forums. Premium members also have access to our 24-7 live chat. Be sure to visit the Premium section. You can get some great enhanced features and a domain name. Customize your web address and choose from .com, .co.uk, and many more. And a personalized email address to give your site the professional touch.